judging has been very exciting. There's been some um, closely contested um, categories, um, so uh, we're looking forward to announcing the winners. Well, I've been a judge for the last three years, um, and I think year on year um, it gets tougher and tougher, and obviously um, today's a fine example. It's surprising how different people are uh, in person than on paper and yeah we've had some fantastic candidates. It's different businesses, different sizes, shapes, challenges, um, that's been the best part of the day listening to all that. I guess the hard work comes to how do you decide a winner from that, you know, it's a real tough challenge, it really is. You're not always comparing like with like, the very interesting range of companies so trying to assess who's going to win is quite an interesting process. Personalities do shine through, but what we're looking for in each category is for those individuals to tell us specifics that, that make that category important to them. Quite pointed questions are asked, um, and the reaction of the contestants uh, to those questions is something that we, uh, we, we have to sort of try and tease out some of their reactions a little bit further. But again, it's, um, in the time we have available, we, we find out quite a lot about what makes them tick. Telling the story of, of the, the business journey that they're on, how that can bring to life the words that you've read and uh, in fact you can get quite a different impression of a business that may or may not have read well um, can really come to life in, uh, in the flesh. Uh, even through reading applications and understanding people's businesses and business myself, you never stop being surprised by them. We've been through a situation where the judges didn't quite all see eye to eye about a particular category, so we had a pretty heated debate about one of the one of the categories. Yeah, it's not it's not absolutely plain sailing. There's so many different variables will actually make make up a, a winner rather than just turnover and profit. When a person comes in and talks to you, it, it brings that company to life. I look for qualities like passion, determination, innovation. And actually, why, why would they like to win the award? Why is it important for that business? Have they made a difference? Have they, have they shown that they've made a difference to their business? Have they, have they done something individually that's, that's quite impressive? Have they taken their business on a journey that looks like it's, it's a progression? It's about the culture, uh, the people. It's about the internationalization, the innovation. There's a whole raft of things you have to think and consider to grow a, a, grow a business over time. The businesses that we've seen, at least one of them, if not two, have got the potential to go a very, very long way. It's such a great opportunity for local businesses and regional businesses to shout about who they are, what they're up to, um, and talk to loads of different people in their industry. I think businesses should take part in E3 Business Awards because it proves that they've got a good business, they're successful, and that customers should work for them is sometimes just taking that time out, filling in an application and going through this process may also encourage them to think about where they want to be and you know, spending time on the organisation themselves. The decision is still very much open, it's a very close run thing and uh, we've got some serious talking to do.